Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Lara Tips. So in the previous video, we looked into setting of the Laravel. So in today's video, today's video we'll be looking at the routing. So we can see in the Laravel documentation here in the Laravel.com. In the under the basics there is a routing. So I'll guide you uh, through the documentation along with the coding. So I have already opened my previous project here. So if we go into the uh, our project and go into the routes and then to the web, it will open up this page. So currently what is happening here is uh, the slash means the home page. When we are visiting the home page, the Laravel is showing the welcome view. Okay. So by default, it is showing. Uh, let's not uh, think about view for now. Okay. Uh, okay. Let let me comment that and let me see. This is the home page, and when I refresh it, there is no content. Okay. So and if I return here some string from here, then it will show that string over here. So uh, basically, the routing starts from the routes slash web.php file and we can define the uh, any routes from here okay let's define another route okay we have defined another route and we have we are uh, returning the from another route from here so and if we go here and visit um, another then it will show the from another route which is from here okay guys so now let's look at the other part of the documentation um, so we'll look into the uh, look into this section a little bit later okay similar to that the get request we can also define the multiple HTTP verbs like post put pass delete and options uh, now in today's video we will be looking into the get request but we but uh, we will be looking at the post and other uh, active verbs in the uh, future videos okay uh, so for basically the post put pass delete they are for the form form submissions um, yeah okay now let's look at the redirect so we can redirect uh, from one route to another route using this route okay let's say so if we are, we visit the route as apple then we'll be redirect to the ball but we don't have this ball route so let's define if we are defining uh, giving uh, uh, suppose we, if we don't we, are, we don't have any name then we should give slash in the beginning but if we have some name uh, like ball or another then no need to give the slash in front so we can also remove it from here okay so now when I visit Apple it should take me to this ball URL as you can see it is it, taking me to the ball reader so I'll repeat you again okay when I type Apple and hit enter it will take me to the ball so uh, what happens if we didn't have the ball route okay let me comment that and say yes it shows the 404 not found it is the uh, this is the default page that Laravel will show uh, when no any URL is found which is which is very simple and uh, looks nice okay now that's done now let's go to the another section now similarly we can add this uh, 301 and 3301 redirects um, uh, this is a permanent uh, redirect by default it is a uh, it is not a permanent temporary redirect it is a temporary redirect but we can add uh, we can add this and make it as a permanent redirect so 
now we can see here we can also uh, directly return view from the route so as you ha we have seen here uh, let me comment out and let me go to the home page it will render the home page okay so from where is this view file coming okay this one so if we look into the uh, our default app structure and if we go into the resources views and we can see here welcome.blade.php and here we can see the welcome so this matches to this name after the views so we can see here after inside this there are a bunch of html so let me remove all this and uh, let me add some basic html so if i since now i have replaced the content of the welcome with my own this home page and we have in the uh, web.php it is returning the welcome now it should return that home page yeah as you can see here now the home page is returned so these are called the views so we can return a view from the route as well okay so since this is very simple so what we can do is let's say direct view and it is now we can directly return the view with this syntax so if i go and you can see it is also taking me to the same page so no need to write this long syntax we can do it with a simple syntax okay so as you can see i have been writing a lot of uh, code in the same file so when we are doing this uh, when we are doing a project a bigger project then doing everything in a single file is not an appropriate idea uh, so we can separate uh, these bunch of logics into the separate files so that what I was talking about in the above that uh, about the controllers okay so you can see here so it is a controllers so we can define a controller and this route file uh, when we visit uh, this user read, uh, URL it will look into our application in the con user controller class then in that class it will look into the method index and it will execute that method okay so let us look at this let us refactor this to use a controller okay so for that uh, in order to make a controller laravel has a um, command so we can do php artisn make make controller let us make home controller home okay we have created a home controller now where is it created if we close this and if we see our app http controllers so we can see here it is the home controller is created here now we can see here that uh, uh, there is nothing it is just a simple php class which extends the controller and this controller is this control this one controller so if we click on here and if we go here so it is just using some basic uh, uh, it is it is not basic but it does many things under the hood but um, it uh, does a bunch of work like authorizing the request dispatching jobs validation requests we'll be uh, looking into this in our future video relations as well so let us focus on this so now if we go to the web.php file and let us change this okay route get into like this and now we'll convert into that syntax the controller is the controller is home controller okay so okay. Controller. Yeah. now don't forget this this class is has is imported at the top here please notice that let me remove this comment mm, this class is uh, imported now let us call the index method in this but if we go to the home controller and see there is no index method so let us create one okay so 
so f- uh, what we, we were doing in what we were doing in this above part was we were returning a view so we'll just copy this and paste it here so nothing else so let us remove this part now now we have uh, when we visit the home page it will go to the home controller inside the index method home controller index method and it will return the home view now if we visit the home page now you can see we are yeah on the home page so now uh, for the different pages like home page about us uh, page contact us page you can make separate controllers like about us controller contact us controller and you can re- return the separate views so let us now uh, for to demonstrate that let us create us another view to creating to create a view there is no laravel command so we have to create it manually let us say about or start blade.php so if you are wondering about the blade then it is a templating engine that is provided by laravel uh, basically it provides a very useful methods like a uh, so useful way of uh, handling uh, uh, if statements for each and many things so let me only write about a space so this is the about us page so in order to go to the about us page what we need to do is make the about route get about us route for that we need to create controller so we don't have the controller so let me comment there and create a controller first it's running the same command and about us controller php artisan make controller about us controller if i hit enter it will create about us controller as you can see here it has already created the about us controller now let me uncomment this and write about us controller class and let me go to index method okay about us controller is imported here as you can see here now if we go here and create the index method return now what we have to do is we have to return the about us view which is here so we we have to do view slash about us now and if we go in the route slash now you can see this we can see the about us space now i would like to show you another thing uh, so what if uh, we want to organize the views into the multiple directories so let's say about us folder is inside the about slash about us this might not be the case but uh, you might have different scenarios let's say about uh, um, uh, let's say there is a cart in the item so cart index space cart items so cart uh, form so you you can organize them in the different views so if you go to the about and about index so uh, if we go and refresh here it will not work since the view about us was not found because it will look into the views directory by default and it will not found the about, about us blade so to uh, tell us to tell the laravel that it's inside the about folder we can do it like this just add the folder name and dot if we write the folder name and dot and uh, about us the blade name the dot will uh, uh, separate the folder with the files now if we go and refresh now we can see the about us page okay after that uh, let's go to the another section the ra- uh, route parameters hmm. okay now let me create another route let us say user i'll create a, a closer here okay okay i have when we visit a user url we are just saying hello user now okay it's showing it properly now uh, what if we want to show the name of the user now we can pass uh, it as a parameter from here from the url for that to work what we need to do is we can uh, define the parameter here 
so username as a parameter so if we define a username here then that username variable will be available uh, in the function closer uh, but you can name it anything so let's say hello username so if we do like this and go to this page we'll get an error here since that url is not found because we are also expecting the parameter from there okay so user slash lara tips then you can see here we can get lara tips so hello if we type here world then we can see here hello world okay so this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, parameter so we can also pass the other parameters like uh, like surname username and surname and we can also concatenate here like this surname like this and if we pass it hello world surname then you can see here we can see the surname you can pass any name here mm, bottle okay hello world bottle <laughs> yeah uh, so you can pass parameters from the url and receive it from the um, route so if you want uh, you if you want the same behavior in the controller then also you can do the same thing like you can pass the this thing over here and inside the index method you can accept the parameters like this so you can add them like this here and as uh, and just you know, use these parameters for your use okay and then after that we also have the optional parameter so as, as you see saw that before uh, uh, when we didn't pass any parameter then it was showing an error but to pass the optional parameter you can see here um, we can in, uh, indicate it by a comma at the end of the parameter name so if we say like this then it is optional parameter but we have to give a default value otherwise uh, it will show an error so hello if we say hello username so it is an optional parameter it will not show an error so it will only show hello but if we pass username then it will show that username so we can pass the uh, we can make this parameter optional as well so we have learned these things today mm. So we'll be learning about uh, other things in the next uh, lessons because this video will be very long if I continue <laughs> uh, all these sections in the uh, route uh, six routing documentation. Mm, so finally, what I would like to show you, uh, show you that is we can also define a fallback fallback route. What is that? I'll show you. So if we define a fallback. let's say fallback section and if we define any routes that is not defined uh, in the above uh, part then it will fall back to this uh, section and, and you have to define this fallback at the bottom of the page always so and if we go here and type anything then it will go to the fallback section and if we comment this one and if we go here then it will show 404 because that URL is not present so guys uh, for today's i'll be uh, showing you this much uh, others will be in the next video since this is going to be a very long video okay thank you for watching have a great day thanks bye